Hi guys, welcome to this new section about recurring questions. Today, I will try to answer a question that my clients or junior developers that I have the privilege of mentoring ask me very often. What is Azure DevOps and how does it help in Dynamics 365 projects? So, let's start. The definition will say something like, it is a set of tools and services that help you manage the life cycle of your software development project. But personally, I consider it more as a framework because it has its own vocabulary and practices with the goal of improved timing, time between commits and time to move it to production, increasing the quality of your product. Having said that, let's go to the answer. Why DevOps and how we use it in our finance and operations or VC projects? I'm going to answer it in a general way and how I use it in my Dynamics 365 projects. I use DevOps mainly for source control and CI CD. It means that I use repos and pipelines. First, repositories. Here is where we commit our code. Do source control? Work together as developers. We can connect to a repository, create branches, pull requests, merge branches, and get a nice and stable version of our code. It gives us the security that we will we'll not lose anything, just as it happened in the past when we had everything locally. If you have the need to integrate a new developer or change your VM, you just need to clone the repo or map the project. It depends on which tool are you working and that's it. You can keep working smoothly and focus on what you like, coding. Then we have the pipelines. There are two kinds of pipelines, one for build and one for release. If we talk about build, basically what happens here is that it grabs the code and runs some tasks. Then the result of those series of steps is that we get an artifact. The artifact is an item that is created by compiling and packaging all your code. Then the release pipeline enters to the game. It takes that artifact and deploys it to the environment that we defined. So, in conclusion, we think about repos as the what, it means or code, and pipelines as the how how it gets to the end users, how it gets to the environments in our Microsoft Dynamics 365 environments. I hope this clarifies this recurring question a bit. And if you have any questions, shoot me a message. Here at Turnkey Technologies, there are many incredible professionals who can help you. See you next time with another quick question and quick answer.